Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's episode 3 of my Norwich career mode. Uh, we're into September. We're going to be facing Manchester City. So let's get on with it and let's see what we can do. Right, so for this one, we're going to be playing all the matches. Uh, I'll do again with Bournemouth. I'll do what I did with Sheffield United. Just show the goals. Play the match, but just show you the goals. Um, yeah. We currently have a top scorer. Team of Pookie's got three goals. That's always good to say. What I will do before I do anything, actually, I'm going to up the difficulty for this one because Legendary is too easy. Like, I shouldn't be sat sixth with Norwich. It should be more of a challenge. So this is the team we're going with for this one. We've got Ralph Feynman in goal, Aaron's closer, Godfrey Lewis, Amadou Teti. Actually, wait. Yeah, Amadou, yeah, Amadou Teti, Buendia, Vrancic, Hernandez, and then Pookie. Uh, hopefully we can get something from this one. Oh, come on, Buendia. Oh. Nope, they're playing a weak inside. We're being outpassed by Manchester City reserves. Oh, we got Yao Cancelo. I mean, that's good. But, oh, there we go, Ralph Fairman with the save. Too close, the head's down. Right, let's take you find Mario Rancic. Is it in for Onel Hernandez? No. I think Man City's gone through the same injury crisis as what we did in real life, you know? Right, now Lewis gets the ball across. Ah. Oh. Two minutes of added time. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'll take that. Nil nil at half time against Manchester City reserves, basically. Um, so I probably shouldn't take that, but. You know what? We've, we've been alright. Yes. Well saved there by Ralph Fairman. Counter attack, maybe? Nope, because Team Ibuki's giving the ball away. What is going on here? Oh, okay, Pereo very nearly scores there. Right, here we go. Emi Buendia. Through to Team Ibuki. There's got to be a set. Oh, if that was a foul, that had to be a send it off. There we go. Nope. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, well, they're lucky to still have 11 men. Um, right. On comes Campwell. On comes Lightner for Amadou. And then. On comes Steeperman. Okay, here we go. Emmy! Oh! Pookie! Yes, there we go. 1 1. I didn't even actually. I still didn't see who the goalkeeper was. But it's 1 1 uh, against. at home to Manchester City. Normally you would take it, but considering the fact that uh, they've got so many younger players out, I think we need to be going for the win in this one. I'm surprised that we even went 1-0 behind. It was Grimshaw who was the goalkeeper. So I wonder their defence has had to be so solid, because I don't, I don't think he's ever made a professional appearance. And, of course, yeah. Okay. So we, we've gone and lost this one, but it is Manchester City, and I feel like their youngsters are way overpowered. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of any time. Coming up against the youngsters, and it was the same with Liverpool, when Liverpool played their younger team, it felt like we were playing their first team. Fortunately for your team, Manchester City, Manchester City managed to score the winner during the last minutes of a t very tight game. What do you make of it? Just unlucky. 
We were just unlucky today. The boys played well, and on any other day we could have won it. It's a shame to lose like this, but we we'll need to keep our chin up. Blah blah blah. Do you do you think certain changes or a different approach altogether could have helped you avoid this humiliating defeat? I'll take the blame for this one. Of course, there are many things we could have have changed, but I think the tactical approach was not the right one, so I'll just have to take the blame for this one. Bueno was one of the best players of the opposition today. Do you have any ability to stop him? Blah blah blah. blah. Um, so he's a really good player. Bueno is a really good good player, and he's making a difference at Man City. My players could learn something from watching yeah, him. No further... And then that's it. So yeah, no, he, him coming on did definitely make the difference, but I definitely think. Um, I probably should have. I should have won that one. I, I definitely should have done. But first game on Ultimate, so it's always going to be a difficult one against Man City. I definitely think we uh, we should have won that one. But let's do the uh, pre-match conference for Burnley away. The season is off to a great start. Do you think your team has enough depth to distance themselves from the bottom of the table? Of course. We're always thinking positively and I'm confident we've got the depth to get away from the bottom of the table. On paper, it looks like Burnley and Norwich are similar in terms of strength. How will you approach this match? Um, focus on playing well. The lads need to focus on playing well in the upcoming match without the pressure of winning. They will do their best, I'm sure of it. The other side have had a big mixed bag in, in terms of results recently. As the manager, have you, how have you reacted to this? Blah, blah, blah. Um, You'll see what we're made of. I'm 100% sure our form will improve, and you'll see what this team is made of soon. There we go. Okay, guys, thanks. So my team for this one is going to be Ralph Fairman in goal, Aaron Zimmerman back as captain, Ben Godfrey and Jamal Lewis, Amadou Leitner, Buendia, Stephen Cantwell, and then Timu Puki up front. Oh. Good job, we've got a good goalkeeper. No idea what Amadou's doing, but sure, go ahead. Puki, uh, too easy for leg things. Straight at him. Oh, Jamal Lewis is all the way forward. That's a pen. Yes. Only problem is, I can't do these new set pieces. If the referee could send him off too, that would be nice. No. Oh, no. Oh. See, I, I don't know when, when you're supposed to do it. It says it says that the other one, the other time you're supposed to do it is like, as the, he's about to kick the ball, but you press it as he's about to kick the ball, and that happens. Can somebody help me with that? If somebody could help me know when you're supposed to time, because it's supposed to go green, and it never does. Like, you can wait, and it doesn't go green, or you just don't shoot. Right. Let's play the Norwich way. Oh, come on. Yes, there we go. Played the Norwich way, and we go and score. And I've already missed a penalty. I've scored. we a goal play in the Norwich way, and we're 1-0 up. That's the way it should have been done on Saturday, but we'll forgive them. And it's Marco Stieperman. Coming into Buendia. Oh. Should have got Stephen in a second there. And there we go. Easy one. Works right there into Todd Cantwell. Timu Puki. Back into Cantwell. Puki. Oh. Goes for the spectacular overhead kick. And it just doesn't work. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of two oh, minutes no. of any time. 
Ooh, Christoph Simmerman making a good block there, important one. I'm surprised they've not brought their goalkeeper forward, you know. Well, Fairman comes out, gets it, but Ashley Westwood, another good block, good save from the keeper. And there we have it, three points in the bag. That's my first win on Ultimate, and Norwich have actually beaten Burnley. Shaking hands with Sean Deitch there. I will gladly take the three points from Turf Moor. That was a... Apparently a nothing game. Apparently not much happened. Um, although we did have eight shots with six on target. So they're one on target. Just a moment of your time. Why didn't we see Teddy play today? Um, team comes first. My goal is to win and I always put the team's ambitions first. Each match requires a different tactic and even if you didn't see Teddy out there today, that doesn't mean he's out the squad for good. Managed to win a close match. The decisive goal in the second half, what do you think made the difference in today's game? We were the better team today, we'll go with that. I think we deserve to win based on how we played. We created enough chances and the score could have been it could have been bigger. We managed to turn the tide and find the, find the, find the decisive goal. Given there wasn't much to split between two sides leading up, oh, was the win ever in doubt? Um, we were the stronger side. Never really doubted the result, to be honest. I know exactly what my players are capable of. Thanks so much. For there we have it. Um, oh, wait. Marco Stevenson says he really appreciates getting out. Uh, influential performance. Obviously, he did actually score the, the winning goal. So, thank you, Marco Stevenson. Right, we're now away to Bournemouth. Again, this is one I'm going to be just showing the goals. We will be looking in January, actually, for a centre-back. So I'm just going to do a bit of scouting, um, see if I can find any good, find any good players, and then if I find any good players, then I'll get back to you in like December and be like, should I sign these players? Okay, so my team for this one, uh, I've it's all changes. Everybody's been changed around. So it's Tim Krul and goal, Byram Hanley, Odessina and Heiser, Tribal Adshead, Fitzpatrick, McLean, Roberts, and then Adam Ida up front. Okay, Philip Heiser puts the ball, well, flexes the ball out for a corner. Corner comes in. Oh, it's, I have no idea what's happened there. Sam Byron's kind of chested it, and it still managed to go in. Right, Ida. Into Kenny McLean. And he can manage to find Patrick Roberts. And adds head. Fitzpatrick again. Oh, Aaron Ramsdale. Right, Tom Tribal. And nope, nobody can get that. But Tom Tribal gets the second chance. Sam Byram, there we go. 1 1. Tom Tribal, first corner was cleared away, but then the ball came back to him. And he just put in a great ball in. Sam Byram couldn't miss. Adam Ida, what are you doing? Can you at least make some kind of a supportive run, please? Oh no. And we're 2 1 down. Right, well, that wouldn't have happened had uh, Adam Ida made a run. Right, come on, Patrick Roberts. Oh, okay. Up, uh, up and behind by Dan Gosling. Right. Patrick Roberts corner in. Oh. Right. Another cross in. Kenny McLean, there we go. There's another one where we've got the corner in, it's been cleared away, ball's come back out to them, and then we've just put the ball in. I think that might be my new tactic now. So, penalties it is. Um, in that case, I'm going to look up how do you do FIFA uh, penalties. Right, let's first off save this one. We won't need to. That makes sense. I, I get it. Oh, no. Jesus. Oh! 
Oh, okay. Well, that was, I mean, that was a half-decent penalty. I mean, in terms of, I actually managed to time it. Yes. Right. Okay, there we go. Managed to score one. Oh, and they've missed all three. Right, I'm getting it. And Tim Crawl has saved all four of their penalties. Oh, well, they have missed all four of their penalties. Um, the crowd sound particularly dead, but apparently there's like no Norwich fans at the game. Oh, wait. I don't even know what's going on there. But, yeah, there we, go. There we have it. It's uh, one... We've won on penalties, so we're into the third round. I am very surprised that we actually managed to score two penalties. And that was the worst penalty shootout you will ever see. Tenth quarterfinal quarter final. We're going to FC Bournemouth one on penalties. Your team lives to see another day. What are your thoughts? I was on the edge of my seat. I must admit getting to the penalties is not something you plan for, but it happens. Nonetheless, I'm incredibly happy we won and we'll move on. After McLean score, did your team aim to take the game to penalties? Uh, this club fights till the end. Even when we were behind, I was confident we would get back into the game. This is a club that fights to the end always. Today we proved that. Morales was one of the best players of the opposition today. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we just played our game. There we go. Team Morales Thanks very much. happy now. Thank you. I will not take any more questions. We have a lot of very quiet months coming up. Because um, obviously this month was only four games. Next month is three games. Next month after that is four games, possibly five. Uh, and then December gets very busy, so I may do December in two parts. I may do Arsenal, Southampton, Sheffield United, and then maybe Leicester, and then do the other games, and then do January. I'll probably do that, because there's a lot of games there. Crystal Palace away it is now. Let's get on with it, and let's bring back another three points to Carrow Road. And I now know how to do penalties. So the team for this one. Fairman in goal, Aaron Zimmerman, Godfrey Lewis, Zimmerman captain, Tribal Leitner, Buendia, Stephen Hernandez, and then Timu Puki. Emi Buendia. Oh. He's past his man. Come on, bring me down, bring me down. Bring me down. Tom Tribal, no. Marks Leitner. No. Oh. Terrible. Right, here we go. Counter attack is on. Timu Puki is in. Goes for goal. What a finish. That's possibly the best goal I've scored on this game. So far. That was an incredible finish from Timu Puki. Cuts inside. Bang. Absolutely no keeper stopping that one. And there we have it. 1-0 after 17 minutes. Oh. Uh, wait, is that our free kick? I don't know whose free kick that is. It is? It's a yellow card to Woods. Oh. That was terrible. Emi Buendia, through to Marco Stiepelman, too easy right now, oh no, oh, I say that and then I go and hit the post, here we go, Max Aarons plays it back to Tom Tribal, Marco Stiepelman can play the ball out wide to Jamal Lewis, can play the ball down the line for Onel Hernandez, we can cut back in, Timo Puki, oh, should have been two. Oh, we've got Christian Benteke playing. Might as well be one of their youngsters. Oh, no. Oh, Benteke skies it. Right, Timu Puki. And he finds Onel Hernandez. And he eventually... Eventually the ball gets to Emi Buendia. 
Team Mapuki. Oh. Max Aaron's oh, should have scored. How many more chances are we going to miss? How many chances can we afford to miss? Right, okay. There we go. Uh, so, 1 0 at half time. Should have been more. And this is on ultimate difficulty. I feel like they need to have it so that they actually play the first team. Because right now. How many of the how many Crystal Palace first team players do they have out? Gary Cahill, Zappa Costa, maybe McCarthy, I don't even know. You've got Steven Henson in goal. Like Ben Teke, you could say is a first team player. EA, please, please patch it. So that uh, yeah, please patch it so that they actually play their first team because right now this is on ultimate and I'm winning games comfortably. Straight up off and Milivojevic on. That's more like it. But Emi Buendia is through. He's not going to miss this surely and he does. Well the keeper saved it. It was just I cursed it. Headed away by Zimmerman into Michael Steepman. Timu Puki. Puki. Oh Stephen Henderson with a good save. Right, this is this second half is just going to be chance after chance after chance. This entire video might as well just be this one match. Give me Buendia to Max Ahrens. Back to Buendia. Steve Moon. Lawrence Leitner. There we go. That's the kind of goal that I've been trying to score. Oh, finally. Rifled it into the top corner. Not a bad one. In this game, I scored two fantastic goals. Yeah, I suppose I, I can't complain about that one. First goal from outside the box that I've scored, so I'm happy with that. Right. Hernandez finds Jamal Lewis. Look at all the space he's got. Look at him go. Steeperman, Pookie. Oh, Steven Henson is a good save. Right, here we go. Emi Buendia, going for goal from distance. Oh, I'd scored two good goals. I thought I might as well have a go at a third. Ooh. Very good game. Uh, I'm happy with that one. Uh, we absolutely dominated that. Would have been nicer to be able to say I did it against, like, the first team. But if Norwich can do that this weekend, I'll be happy with that. One shot for Crystal Palace all match, 15 for us, 53% possession. I'll take that. Just a couple of questions. Coming into this one, there wasn't much between your side and Crystal Palace. Do you have any doubts that you'd come away with the win? Um, Norwich always wins. I always expect to win. The only real reason is quite the only real question is by how much. Quite resounding victory today with a 2-0 score. How pleased are you with your team's performance? We could have won by more. It was a great match for us. Without being too unfair to Crystal Palace, I think we could have won by more today. Yeah. Cahill was one of the best players of the opposition today. We just played our game. I always just go for that one. From there. Thank you, that'll be all. Uh, now we go to the next match, which is Aston Villa. Let me know, actually, what is it that you guys look for when you're looking at your scouting reports? I always look at potential. Uh, I know, obviously, it doesn't really mean that much. But the players with the higher potential, they have to have a minimum... A maximum potential at least uh, 80 for me to consider signing them. And if they've got a, like this guy's minimum potential is 69, I'll sign him. But I don't get if that actually makes any difference now. Because obviously with the dynamic potential, if you play a player and he plays well. Timu Puki and Marco Stiepman were on the player of the month shortlist. And Timu Puki won player of the month for September. Let me know what you want me to do with Grant Hanley. I've already been told by one person to sell him. Uh, I probably will end up selling him. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure he's still got plenty to give though. So I'm going to leave the video there. Let me know what you what you think, how you think it's going so far. I think, I mean obviously I think I'm overachieving so far, but if there's anything that you want me to change about it, then do let me know. Feel free to follow me on all my social medias. The link will be down in the description. Uh, I will keep you guys updated on when I'm posting 
maybe if if enough of you guys want me to uh, want me to do that, leave a like, subscribe, and until the next video, I will see you then.